When most people think of Zermatt, they think of one thing, the Matterhorn, the ultimate Swiss icon that looms over the village Zermatt. Zermatt is an extremely picturesque town nestled at the base of the world-renowned and most iconic mountain in the Swiss Alps, the Matterhorn Mountain. Standing tall at 14,692 feet. The village of Zermatt, dating back to the mid 1800s, is crammed with history at every turn. Walking through this village, you pass through cobbled and narrow streets that run between the historic old fashioned brown chalets on either sides. The streets are always busy with tourists walking up and down the streets, enjoying the beauty of this village. As you walk, you would come across houses that are 500 years old and still standing intact. There are restaurants and hotels at every corner. The tables are always occupied with food-loving tourists who have over 100 restaurants to choose from. Wandering around the village will let you experience the ambience and the beauty of this beautiful village. A little further down the road, you will come across the historic parish church of St. Mauritius. Although constructed in 1913, this church was rebuilt on a predecessor building that probably stood on the site as early as 1285. If you are lucky enough to be in Zermatt in June during Corpus Christi, you will be privileged to witness a once-in-a-year parade. Right next to the church is the Matterhorn Museum. Inside it, one sees how the people lived in Zermatt in the 19th century. For souvenir collectors, there are several shops all through the village where you can buy fascinating items. For chocolate lovers, there is also a dedicated Lynn chocolate shop right in the middle of the village. There are several different flavors to choose from. The entire village is only about 2.5 kilometers long, which could easily be covered in less than a 30 minute walk. Talking about walking, probably that is the only best way to go around the village as cars are banned to avoid pollution. Apart from walking, there are battery-operated taxis that would take you around the city. A 5-minute ride from the main station costed us around 20 euros. In case you want to go around the village the historic way, there are horse carriages which are quite expensive. You can travel in style for around 100 euros. For me personally, I prefer to walk around the city as it gives one the liberty to stop where you want. The view of the Matterhorn mountain is clearly visible from the village, which makes the village even more fascinating. The stunning mountain, although looks calm and spectacular, has claimed the lives of 500 climbers so far. There is a mountaineer cemetery in the village where the bodies of the fallen climbers are laid to rest here. You could read on their gravestones when 
and which peak the climbers fell from. Sometimes their boots and their original climbers ice picks are even left on their gravestones as a reminder. For people seeking adventure sports, there are several of them around to choose from. If you are planning on a visit, do not miss a trip to the Gonagrad. A trip to the Gonagrad is a must. From here, you can gape at 29 peaks that are over 4000 meter high. The Swiss mountain railway up the hill is a treat by itself. Moreover, you can get a clear view of the Matterhorn up from the Gonagrad. Overall, Zermatt isn't cheap but definitely worth the money. Subscribe now to watch more videos on Switzerland and other beautiful countries around the world.